All right, so boys, today we have something a little bit different that we're doing. So today we're gonna be reacting to the Anime Man's, AKA Joey's Japanese quiz so what it entails is he asks a bunch of influencers the likes of ludwig moist critical pewdiepie and many more a bunch of japanese oriented questions to test their knowledge of japan so i'm gonna take the quiz as well with these um influencers and we're gonna see how much i get correct because <laughs> i'm gonna be honest guys I i'm not cultured at all so uh let's see how i do which quintessentially japanese dish actually originates from Portugal. Portugal. A. Sushi. B. Portugal doesn't have any ramen. Body of water around it. C. Takoyaki. Takoyaki. Or D. Tempura. I don't think, wait, I'm trying to think, where the f*** is Portugal? Can I just, can I, can I just ask that first? What, what is a Portugal? Is that in South America? It's by Spain? No shot. Wait, what? Wait, Takoyaki, isn't it like that, uh, the octopus um, ball thing where they, like, they grill it? It could be ramen. It's probably ramen. Tempura. Easy. Chris, okay, Chris knows everything. Abroad from Japan, he knows everything, right? He has to. The correct answer is Bro. D, tempura. <laughs> Darn it! Tempura? Oh. What the fuck's a tempura, yo? Bro, I'm so un uncultured. I'm actually so un uncultured, bro. <laughs> bro, hold up. I'm searching this up. What the fuck's a tempura? Wait, this looks so good, yo. Oh, it's just fried shrimp. Wait, I had this. I literally had this before. It's just, yeah, it's just fried shrimp. Which of these car manufacturers is not Japanese? A, Daihatsu. B. That's Japanese. Lexus. C. Uh, Hyundai. Hyundai. Goddamn, brother. That's, that's pronounced Hyundai, brother. Or D. Nissan. Okay, for sure, for sure. I think Nissan definitely is Japanese. A and C both sound Japanese. Lexus might be the answer here. I think Lexus either is a German brand, then I think they finally moved to Japan to do manufacture, but that's my guess. I'm going B. B Lexus, lock it in. Lexus does not sound that weave, right? <laughs> not that weave. C, Hyundai. Lexus? See, he says a Hyundai. Super not Japanese. But the fact that you brought it up makes me nervous. I think Hyundai, I think that's Korean. I'm gonna go with Hyundai. Oh, what did I think of that? See, Hyundai, they're a South Korean company. Oh! It's Hyundai, they're Korean. The correct answer is- I didn't is know that. Hyundai is actually a Korean brand. I didn't know that. I'm not a car weeb, man. Which is the longest running? A. Oh, we noticed, we piece. noticed. I did an anime kahoot of this. B. Yu-Gi-Oh. Nope. Nope. C. Detective Conan. Or D. Crayon Shin Chan. Okay. Okay. Well, I was about to say. Okay. The show I was thinking about is not on there. Wait. Okay. Actually, I have to think about this. All right. I definitely know it's not One Piece and Yu Gi Oh. Detective Conan. I've never heard of. I'm thinking it's D. The, the crayon one. I'm gonna be really angry if it's One Piece because I know that's the biggest selling, but I don't necessarily think it's the longest running. I think it's One Piece. Now that's the trap. That's the trap. He wants you to think that. It's Detective Conan. 100. I know this one. The correct answer is D. Crayon Shin Chan. It was a 50-50 for me. I'll, I'll take it. I'm on the board, boys. I'm on. The the board. So Crayon Shinchan is the 15th longest running anime series in total with 1,168 episodes as of this video. Oh. Detective Conan comes two place after that with 1,068 episodes. Yu-Gi-Oh! then comes one place after that at 18th place at 1,023 what? episodes. And finally, oh, wait, in they're always place, coming out with new seasons. That makes sense. 978 episodes. And that's just 15. That makes sense. Do you sense. know what the, mind, the number yeah. one longest running anime is? Is it Hello Kitty? No, I it's. I forgot the name. It's uh, is that weird? Like, it doesn't even look like anime. It, it's some like children's like uh anime. I I, 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 think I can't many remember the name. Outside of Japan, no, because it's very culturally rooted in Japan. But it's this show called Sazai Sun. If I was the yes. daily yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 the yeah, Sazai family, it's been going on since Sazai the early '60s, and as of right now, it has over seven thousand seven hundred episodes. Yeah. Japan turns which of the following into renewable, renewable energy? A Stationary bikes. Uh, B, I don't see that much bikes around there, right? Leftover sushi rice. No, I think. C. Footsteps at Tokyo train stations. What? Wait, I'm so confused on C and D. How would you turn crowd noises into energy? Any stem lords in chat? Footsteps? That makes sense because like they could like you know like like the thing in Minecraft like the 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 the, the activation plate thing you know you can you can do that and make energy off that right and they just like do 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 and it just produces energy. I I think that's it. Or D, 
crowd noises at sumo wrestling matches. Crowd noise at sumo wrestling matches? That's so niche. I think what, two million people pass through Tokyo Station every day. If you could harness that foot power right. into energy, you could power like a light bulb or something. I don't, oh, I don't know, fuck. Chris is onto it. Like I said, anything Chris says is scripture. He knows his shit. The correct answer is C, footsteps yeah. at Tokyo train stations. Yep. There are special floor tiles that capture vibrations that are generated by footfall, which is then stored as energy. That's so crazy. They're so five head. Tokyo is well known to be the largest city in Japan in terms of population, mm -hmm. but yeah. what is the second largest? A. Oh no. Oh, Yokohama. I don't know the cities in Japan. B, Osaka. C. Suck on these nuts. Or D, Kyoto. Oh, oh this this is just a shot in the dark. I'm be honest, I've never heard of these cities. I'm that uncultured. I'm just gonna say for the memes, it's B. So when people say that, you know, Tokyo is the largest city in the world, they're actually talking about the Tokyo, the greater Tokyo metropolitan area. I imagine that the reason Tokyo is able to oh, this, get this, up yeah, to this that guy definitely is, is a fucking the otaku, next dude. city over, Yokohama, must be significantly big as well. If not, then Wait, I have they shown Chris yet? To push it over, Chris like, abroad? Mexico I don't think they have shown him yet. Like, like he knows the answer really immediately. That's why they haven't shown him yet. Yokohama. Hopefully, my logic isn't too off. <laughs> that question is correct. What? You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. Nah. You got it, man. You got it. Honestly, I, I there's zero shot I was getting that one right. Where's Chris? Well, he hasn't been shown yet. Chris? Chris? Which of the following facts about Japan is not true? Okay, yeah, hey, I thought so. There is one vending machine for every five people in Japan. That number seems astronomical. I know there's hella vending machines. There's no way there's that much vending machines. Japan's birth rate is so low that adult diapers are sold more than baby diapers. No shot. I know I know Japan has definitely like a just a birth rate issue, but there's no way. C. Japan has the second highest amount of McDonald's restaurants after the US. And D. No shot. They're a small no way McDonald's took over Japan like that. If you commit suicide in Japan by jumping in front of a train, the family of the deceased will be charged a disruption fee. I think there's What? Dude, wait, all of these are so crazy. So one of these are not true. Thinking about it now, let's start with vending machines. That number seems so astronomical, but I feel like at the same time it's bait, right? Maybe one vending machine out of tw for each uh, 20 people in Japan. That maybe makes more sense. Adult diapers. I know there's definitely a birth rate issue in Japan. McDonald's though? Like, I guess, you know, everyone like McDonald's, right? Like, even if you hate McDonald's, you still, like, during a shitty night, you'll still go to McDonald's. So, like, the distribution fee, I think this is possible. Maybe Japan is super, super, like, traditional and they, like, you know, don't really take suicide, like, as serious and like, really mourn for the family. So, maybe... Like, ah, shit. dude, I think the vending machine one is bait. I think that number is off. The rest of them probably makes sense. I, I think it's a vending machine one. No way, one out of five. Japan is notorious for having a lot of vending machines, but to me, one for every five people feels a bit too much because that yeah. would mean something like 25 million vending machines. And the machines otaku was saying it, dude. That feels just a little bit too much. There's I'm no gonna go with one, the vending machine one. Yup, okay, wait. The lie is actually A, there is one vending machine for every five people in Japan. There's an actual statistic for that though, isn't there? Yes, yeah, the how much? actual statistic is there is I'm one say, vending ah! machine. I'ma say, I feel like it's still crazy, like one in a hundred. For every 22 people in Japan. 20, 22? That's cap, that's cap. Festival does Steam not Japan. exist in Japan. A, the belly button festival. What was that B. entail? The Crying Baby Festival. Crying See, Baby? Are they just like bopping kids the on the head? Festival. There's no, there's, there's no way that's real. There's, there's no, I, I know there's some freaky people that like farting, but there's no way there's a whole festival for it, right? In Japan. Or D, the Penis Festival. Stop. There is not a festival called a Penis Festival. That is cap. There is no way any of these are real. I need to think in the mind of a weird Japanese like man, right? Belly buns. 
That could be kinky. That could be fun. You could just dig around, put something in, lick it out. I don't know. I don't know what that festival entails. That could be real. Farting festival? Yeah, it's just so nasty. I don't even want to think about it. I, I think that's that's possibly real. Penis festival, even though it's super tab. Actually, no, wait. Wait, private parts are super taboo in Japan. I think it's D. Some stuff in Japan is really weird in my American mind, but like this is super taboo. Like there's no way this, this happens in public. I, I don't think this is real. Crying baby festival? This this could just be like a festival that like celebrates newborns and stuff right and there's like they carry around a bunch of babies and they're all crying like wah, wah, wah. so I, th I think it's d i know I the penis festival is real the farting one feels no real <laughs> wait I no shot to be real that's did i pause answer. right before i got would get the okay dude okay there's no way yeah, i'm gonna go with i'm waiting for chris one. chris knows it all chris the buddha statues that bring out chris on bring out like, chris so you think they could tie that in and the c one that's just the sort of Joey the Animal Man festival. <laughs> that can't be real. No, okay. it's got C's not real. Well, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. If Chris says it's C, then it's C. Why would there be a penis festival though? Like I can see what it entails, but like really in Japan? The correct answer was actually the farting festival. That's what? crazy. That's crazy. Yep. Japan farting? does not have a farting festival. Oh man, I was ready to fucking book a flight That's... for it. I just assumed that was absolutely there. <laughs> Yo, Charlie, what the fuck? Have you been to the penis festival? Just be honest. Yeah, I, I made a video there actually. I haven't seen that one. The anime man penis. <laughs> oh my, that's a really bad thing to Google. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I was curious. I was like, maybe I should Google this. Like, okay, probably gonna hold off on that. Which of these numbers is considered evil in Japanese culture? Oh, I know this. It's four. It's four. I know this because I played League of Legends and I watched a Jin video about it. And I think Jin is based off like Japanese culture. So it's four. Yeah. I think in some spots in Japan, they literally block off the fourth parking spot. In the last question, I learned that there's a penis festival. So it seems like they're very open to genitalia. So I don't think 69 would be a problem. 13. Yeah. That I know you. You're tricky. You're you're so tricky. Thirteen is like a taboo one for Americans. And a few others. I think. Like thirteen or Western is Korea. a problem in America because of that horror film. But no no one over there cares. You're just yeah, trying to true. trick me. You think I'm stupid. So we're eliminating oh. those two. And my gut says okay. three, but oh. my gut's always wrong, which means I'm going with four. Oh my god, Mr. Beast is so five head, bro. And maybe three turned on its side. No, three is the marking of the beast. The three claws. Three, a hundred percent. Hey, lock in. Is he thinking of like the monster th drink, right? Like the three thing, like the claws of the monster? No, that's not it. That is incorrect. <laughs> what the fuck? The correct answer is four. The reason why the number four is an evil number is because there are two ways to say the number four in Japanese. The most conventional way is yon, but another way is shi. And she in Japanese means death. The guy's struggling. I'm struggling too, low key though. I missed like half of these. What is the average delay time for trains in Japan? A. There's never delay. They're always on time. C. One minute and 21 seconds. Or D. Two minutes and four. Okay, well, I was wrong. I'm gonna retract that answer. Now I have the options. Now I have the cards in my hand. Now I will choose. It's obviously 18. They're always on time or just a little bit over like maybe 30 seconds. That's it. And it averages out to like 18-ish. I'm just going to jump in and say it's C. When you're taking a test, at least in Japan, like growing up, when you don't know the answer, go with C. Wait, they always tell us that too in school. Or that's what my friends tell me. Always pick C. I'm like, that's cap. No, just, just choose the best answer. That is incorrect. <laughs> the answer was actually... A. Oh wow! Seconds. It's not yeah. It's not always C. In the UK, it's like eighteen minutes. <laughs> In the UK, it's eighteen minutes, bruv. I'm over here dick in fucking hand, waiting eighteen minutes for the fucking tolly to arrive. Japan is an island country, yeah. and it is made up of islands. But True. how many islands does Japan six. have in total? A. Six. I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I actually don't know. That was a, that was a wild number. If I got that right before get the answer got shown, I'm actually crazy. Or D, six thousand eight hundred and fifty-two. Okay, no, that's that's no way. Six thousand eight hundred fifty-two. Look, final answer. What? Oh my. God. What? Chris is saying it's six thousand. Guys. <laughs> what? Like, if you guys don't know, Chris literally his whole YouTube channel. It's about exploring like the niche places of Japan. He literally lives in Japan. He knows like basically every cultural geographical aspect about Japan. And he's confidently 
He's saying 6,000. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I do think that probably similar to the last question, this is one of those things where it's taken the approach that seems more like bombastic, sensational. So I'm gonna go with D. What? He didn't even know that and he still guessed it right. What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, I just had a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee, both start with C. I'm going with C. <laughs> what? There's no way. If Mr. Beast got that right, he's he's literally in the matrix right now. The answer was actually I think I, I, D, I, 6,852. No! So, uh, how many islands are just like a rock? Well, you, they're counting that? I know for a fact that most of these are named. Most of these are inhabited. And the reason why there are oh. so many is because in the southern part of Japan, off the coast of Kyushu and going down to Okinawa is where most of these islands lie. Basically that entire area, there are so many small islands that are grouped together. It's basically what? an archipelago. They're gonna consider that like, bro. Charlie, no, they got all 10 right. Dang. Oh, I think I only got like three or four right. I, I did fucking, I did terrible.